Hello everybody, this is Chromosol018 and my nephew's taking a nap at the moment so I'm just going to make some of my thoughts videos instead of doing actual reaction recordings because yeah I didn't get to strap him in because when I put him in the put him in his uh, rock and play I was going to strap him in so he you know obviously wouldn't roll over and fall out but the little guy didn't ref was actually actually refusing to sleep on his back because every time I tried to put him on his back he'd start crying and then move back to on his side. So, yeah, he's he's like that at the moment. So that's why I'm not doing any reaction videos, because I don't... I want to be able to pay attention just in case, you know, he starts crying for whatever reason. Anyway, this is my thoughts on Fairy Tale episode 133. I'm going to try and get a few of these made and, you know, upload them while I wait. Because that way I'd, I'd get something done, essentially. Anyway... Uh, this episode did, uh, they got back to the get, hang on, stupid hair, getting in my face, hang on, sorry, my hair was getting in my face and it was driving me nuts, anyway, this episode, they get, others got back to the guild after their little mishap with Dan and Samuel. Not too still tiny, and that sucks. And they just they go over, you know, what's in the book because Samuel just dropped it after memorizing it. And they realize that the story that's going on in the book is actually happening, you know, happening, you know, in real life because in the book the girl takes a journey. And the girl in the book is essentially representing Michelle, taking the clock hand to Lucy. And they actually discover that the places in described in the book are actually real places. And they go to split up into different teams to go and check those places out because they assume that's where the rest of the clock, the clock is. Or that's where the rest of the clock pieces are because there's more than... I think there's six pieces in total and one of them was stolen obviously so they're looking for five more pieces. Anyway, for the first group, they have Natsu, Lucy, Michelle, Romeo, and Happy with them. And on their way there, they're obviously on a boat, so Natsu's got motion sickness. Uh, yeah, they run into some archaeologists that are aptly trying to keep them from going to that place because it's apparently, I guess, a holy... Either a holy site or a very precious uh, archaeological site and they don't want it damaged. Either way, they're trying to stop them. After Lucy t lets them know about, you know, how her dad gave her that momentum and she's trying to figure out what's going on and you know, try and find a way to get it back, her momentum back from her dad, it moves the architects and they end up they actually ended up tossing Natsu in the water at some point and the other archaeologists go after him and make him big again because they use their own magic on it. Which is good. And while this is going on, uh, Urza, Wendy, Carla, and Kana are in a group, and Urza's acting really, I wouldn't say weird, because this is something that she would do, but they got to like a meadowy area, and she wants to be able to have a picnic, because she's never gotten to have one. It's her first picnic. And, well, that gets ruined when a bunch of people show up and tell them that this is their land and they aren't going to have any picnics. For whatever reason, I don't know why. And they essentially incur Urza's wrath. I ultimately felt bad for those people. Because they did not know what they were getting into and they paid with it big time. And while this is going on, uh, Gray and Julia are actually a team. Surprise. As they're heading out, you know, obviously Julia's having her little fantasies about Gray and... Leon actually shows up. He's actually part of the group as well, and now it's getting really awkward considering Leon's got a crush on Juvia, Juvia's got a crush on Grey, Grey could care less about either one when it comes to this type of thing. So yeah, kind of awkward. Juvia thinks there's some big love triangle between them, blah 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 blah. Oh, Juvia, you are so silly sometimes. And ultimately, they end up getting where they're supposed to go. 
and I think that's about how it ends. I don't remember what there were any other groups. Oh, uh, hang on, I forgot one. Uh, Mira, Elfman, and Lasana are a group, and they're having lunch, but the place they're having lunch at is not too smart. They're essentially sitting near the edge of a cliff. And Lasana actually raises this point, yeah, maybe we should have the lunch somewhere else, because you know that cliff could fall, break, that might not be very stable. So yeah, that's where they're at at this point. In the episode, anyway. Uh, were there any other groups? There was Asana's group, Eris, and Urza's group, Natsu's group, uh, J Gray's group. That's four of the pieces. Oh, Gajo's group. Yeah, uh, Panther, Lily, Levy, Dre, and Troy. Or Troy, whatever the guy's name is. Yeah, they're all going to find Gajo, who's been meditating under... Uh, a waterfall and trying to withstand lightning at the same time because he's still in the mindset of preparing for that fight with Loxus even though all the other stuff's going on he has no clue of. Anyway, uh, Lily, as we know, is afraid of lightning and thunder and thus he uses that as training as well and, well, they're stuck there at the moment. Waiting for those two to get it out, snap out of it and get back to what they're supposed to be doing. And I think that's all the groups. Uh, yeah, that's all the groups. Anyway, I just found it quite amusing with the whole Juvia Gray Leon thing. I just found it amusing because it's just Gray could care less. He doesn't. I don't think he's got a thing for Juvia, and he could care less if Leon's interested in Juvia. He just would say, "You just don't know what you're getting into." Oh, <laughs> uh, I love that. Anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say for this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction, and I will see everybody next time.